Right, thanks for coming, guys. My name is John Morris, and uh, Kev really oversold it there. That was great. Um, <laughs> um, for those that don't know me, I am currently a student at Cobra Academy here in Brisbane. Been doing this for about three months now, so this time last year I definitely knew no programming whatsoever. So I'm definitely the person to be giving this talk and going back to what Ash was saying at the beginning, if you've never done a talk before, do it. That's how to get a growth mindset straight away. Um, so yeah, I'm currently a student at Code Academy and in, in the couple months that I've been there, they've taught us a lot. Like we've done HTML, CSS, we just started JavaScript this week. We finished our first full stack like two-way marketplace last week in Ruby on Rails. Um, and as a personal point, like I'm really proud of what I've done, but personally, like what Coder Academy has taught that I valued the most is the idea of a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. Um, and this, this has been important for me because um, for those that don't know, I, I have a really fashionable device here. Um, but I, I have nerve damage, I've been suffering with that for about four or five years now. Um, it got to the point last year where I was definitely very much within that fixed mindset, um, where I just truly believed that like learning in general wasn't for me yet as learning like something as difficult as programming and developing every day. Um, and really, like it took a good twelve months to kind of try and break out of that cycle, and um, you know, wake up each day and look at a project and go like, I can, I think I can do this, like one day, like not today, but I think I can do this. Um, and so yeah, I really want to show you with you the importance of a growth mindset, and um, so you can know that you can do it too, one day. Um, first, I think it's important to clarify what a mindset is. Um, should have taken the Google definition, would have been way better. Um, but no, it's, it's a pretty broad term, um, but really it's, it's about how we view our own past achievements and successes. Um, it's, it's how we define what a success is and what a failure is. It's really like if we even define if it is a failure or a success. Um, and the mindset in how you're seeing failures and successes are, is obviously going to impact the uh, challenges in front of you and whether you see the results of that as a failure or not. Um, and so the two main mindsets, fixed mindset versus growth mindset, um, fixed mindset is the belief that you were born this way. Like the talents that you have are uh, innate, you were born that way. You got really lucky as a web developer. Like <laughs> looking at a few faces in this room, I'm pretty sure the internet wasn't even around. So like, you're doing really well for being a born developer. Um, whereas growth mindset is the idea that the things are learned. Like you give enough time, you give enough effort, and you can get there. Um, and it's, it's really not a case of one or the other. You're not a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. Um, you normally have a nice mix of both. Even someone like myself, I've been working on this for too long. And um, I've got a pretty good growth mindset when it comes to computers and math. I think I'm doing all right with that. I think I'm a very logical person. Still very much stuck in the fixed mindset when it comes to like art. I'm surrounded, all my friends are brilliant artists, singers, creators, performers. And I look at that and I'm just sort of in awe and like quite scared of what they do, and then I find out that in the same way that I've been spending the past few months at Coder Academy learning how to code, in high school they got hundreds of hours of personal singing lessons or drawing lessons or acting lessons, and um, yeah, very much learning quite quickly that even if you think somebody was just naturally talented at something, um, they've had those lessons, you just haven't realized either. Um, so yeah, um, it's really just a mix, like I'm trying to get a better growth set, mindset, um, art, and things like that. Um, so when it comes to, to growth mindset first fixed mindset, I think a lot of us have been told our whole life, like, you just, you need to believe. You just need to believe and you can do it. And, like, the tortoise and the hare is really the prime example of that. Like, we've all heard it a hundred times, told a thousand different ways. Sometimes it's not even a tortoise or a hare. Um, that's when it gets really cool. Um, but the end moral is always the same, like slow and steady wins the race. Um, and I can't argue with that, the tortoise did win, it did really well. I think it's a prime example of the tortoise having a growth mindset. I think what we don't focus on enough is how much of an asshole the hair was. And like, like it's, it's a pretty big focus, like we focus on that a bit, but what we don't focus on is, is the idea that he was in a fixed mindset as well. And one, when, when you first think about it, it seems pretty beneficiary, if anything, the idea that he's going to win. That's his fixed mindset. Um, 
But the fixed mindset just it doesn't allow for change, good or bad. So that's truly the, the benefits of a growth mindset. Even if you think you're the best at everything, that level of fixed mindset is still pretty damaging. Um, so some quick tips for how to do the growth mindset, become that uh, meditation master. Um, so those in the fixed mindset will often say the stuff on the left. Those in the growth mindset, swap it out for the right. My big trick is just add the word yet onto the end of it. Like if you can't do it, you can't do it yet. If you're bad at JavaScript, you're bad at JavaScript at the moment. You're not good at JavaScript yet. Um, and so that's, that's my go-to one. Whenever I feel bad about myself that I can't achieve something, add the word yet and you're laughing. Um, and yeah, I get it, like some things are easier said than done. Um, luckily with growth mindset, it's just like it's said, it's said, it's said, and then it's done. Um, and three tips for just saying it to yourself again and again and trying to create that growth mindset. Um, the first would be positivity, which it sounds cliche, but like just understand that the learning process is fun. You can mess up and still have fun because you've just learned something. Um, and realizing that like failure is, is part of that learning journey as well makes it a lot more fun. Um, secondly is feedback, and not just feedback from others. Feedback from others is really important that you can have that conversation and accept that. But I think the biggest one is feedback to yourself. Structure conversations with yourself to be beneficial and so that you're learning. My big one for this is, uh, I say it to my friends all the time, is just like, hey, don't say that about my friend. And you can do that for yourself as well. So like, I mean, my fiance is sitting there right now, she's a brilliant scientist. Whenever she gets anything wrong, I don't say, you suck, like, that's, that's the worst bit of science I've ever seen. Like, I, I wouldn't say that to her, I'm definitely not gonna say it to myself. So be your own best friend, get some good feedback going with yourself. Um, and of course, effort. Um, understand that the effort you put in whilst learning is the outcome that you're looking for not the project at the end. I'm pretty proud of the projects I've made at Coder Academy, and if you're friends with me, I haven't shut up about them since I've done them. Um, but I think that the effort that I put in and just um, the learning that I've done, that's why my friends think I'm a programmer, not the little slick side at the end that I can pay someone for. It's the fact that they've seen me do that every day and put that effort in. Um, and Lastly, just quickly highlight the layers of behavioral change. So this is pretty hard proof that this works. And first, um, what you believe your identity is will flow onto your performance and then how others um, feel about you. So the uh, example here is that I'm the type of person who never misses a workout, which is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe that I'm a programmer, I'm a developer. That's something I've been working on really hard for the past six to 12 months. So I'm the type of person who is a programmer. And that leads to me, I mean, I'm, I've got up to 20 gig commits in a row at the moment. I'm pretty proud with that. I've managed to do some programming every day for 20 days. Um, and that's, I think, changed into the way that the world perceives me as well. I've got friends and colleagues and classmates that can sit there and say, you're a programmer. Not because I showed them that sick site, but because they've seen me put in that effort again and again. Um, so yeah, that's uh, fixed mindset and growth mindset. Um, benefits and cons of both. And, um, finally, I'd just like to leave you with a quote from Thomas J. Watson, the founder of RBM, and arguably, I'm sure a lot of people would argue, the father of innovation. Um, and it is, would you like me to give you a formula for success? It's quite simple, really, just double your rate of failure. <laughs> uh, without failure, you're not succeeding. Thank you. You've all been thinking this. this is my, my first speech, or second speech, I did this at Brisbane Tech News, um, so I'm really trying to push this growth mindset, I'm petrified of speaking in front of people, so, hey. No question, but awesome design. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> this is uh, Canva.com. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, your choice, sir. Do you want to grow it? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about Coder Academy? Yeah, so um, Coder Academy is, I believe they have campuses now in Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. Um, they're currently in the second cohort for here in Brisbane. 
Um, and as I said, I started developing in about September, October last year. Um, I did pretty well doing the self-paced study and that sort of stuff, but what I really wanted was sort of a group of peers um, in which to share ideas around and actually make sure that I was learning relevant stuff and was challenging myself each day. And um, Coder Academy, yeah, it runs twice a year. It goes for six months to get a diploma of information technology, I believe. Um, but most importantly is you're surrounded by 20 other students that really, really, really give a shit about what they're learning about. Um, and we get like mentors in every couple of weeks, so local, if anybody, I'm, I'm gonna say right now, if anybody is part of a company that is looking for people or would help like, just like to help teach the community, come in for the day and have a chat with like 17 new developers and tell us what you do and what you like and yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, I've got about a month and a half left uh, my course, and it's just mainly just web development. Um, yeah. Fantastic, and good opportunity for everyone here. There's another question. Don't you get an internship with that as well? <laughs> oh, that's a sale. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, part of the um, Coder Academy is the last month they help you find an internship as well, um, which I'm pretty grateful for. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Your internship? Personally, I've been um, quite lucky to have been offered one. Um, yeah, but if if, <laughs> um, if anyone's offering any opportunities, please come and have a chat. I'm more than happy to still have a chat. Thank you. Awesome. Very kind. Thanks again.